Hi, my name is Josh Friedman, and I'm the Chief Operating Officer of an organization called Six Seconds. Um, about 20-some years ago, I started um, working as a teacher. And I was in a school where emotional development and academic development were considered equally important. And um, around that time, a guy named Dan Goleman came and visited the school. And he was looking at our program and telling us about his research in um, this area called emotional intelligence. And he said, you know, that's what you guys are doing here. And we didn't think that much of it, honestly, because we had lots and lots of visitors. It was created as a model school to teach people better ways of teaching. And um, then Dan's book became an international bestseller. And we got all these calls from people saying, you know, I read Dan's book and it was you know, so valuable. This is such an important insight, but I don't know how to do it. Like, what, how do you actually put this into action? And so in 1997, we decided to start an organization to teach people how to teach emotional intelligence and to teach people how to put it into action. Started getting emails from people saying, I want to get certified. And I said, Annabelle, what do you, what do you think that means? And uh, she said, well, I guess they want an in-depth training. All of a sudden, we realized two things. One is that the need for these skills is everywhere in society. We had people from colleges and universities and people from military organizations and people from um, healthcare and a, a lot of people from the corporate sector. And the other thing that we realized is that the practical implementation of EQ uh, is elusive for people. And there are a lot of people out there who are doing a beautiful job describing emotional intelligence, saying here's what it is. And a lot of people doing interesting research about it and saying here are some of the benefits of it. But actually putting it into practice, how do you use this as a leader? How do you use this as a teacher? How do you use this as a, a friend, a father, a, an ally? How do you actually put your emotional intelligence into action in your day-to-day -day life? And so that became our total focus. There's something transformational about this work. And what's been unbelievably exciting for me is to see this happening all over the world. Uh, our 11th office is about to open in Jakarta. And I get to travel to these different places and work with these different people and see the same kinds of problems everywhere. Emotions are universal. And my perception is that we need to find places to connect. We have huge, difficult problems to deal with in our workplaces, in our societies, in our families, in our communities. And we have a lot of opposition. We have a lot of disagreement. We have a, a lack of coming together to solve these problems. So to do it, we need to find the common ground. We need to find where we can actually connect. We need a universal human language. And my experience is that emotions and emotional intelligence give us that.